All right, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to show you guys how to do a sky comp so we can go from this to this. So let's jump in and show you how to do it. On the edit page, I just have this building shot and stacked a sky underneath it, just a little back plate of some sky. And as you can see, this building pretty much has no detail behind it. So let's jump back over to the color page. So I added a single node here. And if you don't see your alpha output, right click in the gray space and hit add alpha output and connect it to the alpha to your timeline. And then I basically used this qualifier in a 3D mode, which is this cube right here. Normally when you start, it's in HLS mode, but I chose 3D and let's go ahead and reset this so you can see how to do it. Picker is automatically chosen for major selection here and you're just going to swipe across the area that you want keyed and you're going to get something like that and then you need to invert it with this tool down here it's the third selection over and that inverts your key and then if you need to add more like you can see on this building here when you go shift h you can see right across the front of this brick here, we got some noise. So we need to clean this up. So we're gonna add a stroke. We're gonna choose the add, which is the third option over here. If I was to re-swipe it, it would redraw the entire key from this original blue mark here. So we need to choose add. And then I'm gonna add this and get a little bit of that edge of the sky. We wanna hit the subtract picker because we don't want these parts on the building getting keyed. So I'm gonna swipe here. You can see it just turns white. So the white parts are not gonna be keyed and the black part is. And as you can see in the windows, we have some reflection going on, which is fine because that's what we want. It makes it a little more realistic. So now let's clean up around the light pole and the lamp here. And we're going to use these tools on the bottom right. So there's a D spill, which works for chroma keying more so. It doesn't really have an effect here. We're going to get the most out of our in and out ratio. So I'm going to slide this down. And then if you want to get rid of the marks on your key, there's this right here, show hide marks. So toggle that on and off. And if you needed to redo any of your key, you can always hit this trash can here and it's kind of showing you what you've selected the color, well, just so you know. So now let's zoom in on this light post here and we're gonna take a look and just try to get rid of these jagged edges. So let's hit this denoise. And sometimes it's good to like over exaggerate to see what it's going to do and then bring it back. So I'll just add a touch and then start messing with our in and out ratio a little more. And let's get our clean black, clean white. Clean white actually makes it worse, so I'm going to leave it. If you need to reset any of these tools, just double click on the name. I'm going to add a little bit of pre filter until I see the image start to degrade. We're gonna add a little bit more denoise, but I'm gonna watch and just pay attention to what it's doing. And we'll add a little bit of post filter, and that helps. And there's one other spot here. You can reference your key right here. So there's the key input, the key output, and the qualifier. So if you were to like move your offset here, you could see it's changing the sky's color because the black is your offset level. So the darker, the more of a refined key it's going to get. And then if you add gain, that's your qualifier gain. And if it's not strong enough where the white's not high enough, it doesn't know what to key out. So you can actually go past the standard is 1.0. But if you go higher, it gives it like a stronger looking key. So that's another manipulation you can do on your key. Let's go back to the qualifier here. I'm gonna hit Z to zoom out. And other than cleaning up a little bit more, you guys get the idea on how to do it. As always, I thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. Hope that helps.